Info Gamer just released a brand new map, has some insane features I've never seen before. He gave me permission to go into his map and build anything I want. And at the end of this, I'll show you his reaction. What is that on the ground? All right, first let's check out the map and check out that thumbnail. Okay, here we are in the map. Whoa, check it out. There's the huge monster right there. Okay, we got all the guns here on the back rack. Oh, uh, let's start killing some folks. Here we go. Whoa, did you hear that? I said headshot. Well, now I gotta go get another headshot. Wait, what is this here? It says achievement list. Let's uh, interact with that. Yo, this is cool. Eliminate five enemies with a rifle. Oh, and check this out. I got an aimbot, which is eliminate five enemies with a headshot. Yo, that is legit. Uh, ha, ha, I got another headshot. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's happening? Oh, oh, what is this animation? Oh, this is sick. Oh. wins the round. Oh my gosh, blue team won the round. Oh, cool. Look at that progress bar at the top. That must have been a full round. I just had like jumped in. Okay, let's check out the rest of this map though. So we've got cool grind rails, which I like. I don't know how useful these are in these red versus blue maps. We got the monster back there, like I already said. Wait, does that mean the robot is back behind my R base? Red team takes the lead. Red team takes the lead. There's all sorts of cool little like sound effects. Oh look, there is the robot right up there. Love these like triangles in the base. Let's see what happens when we go down in one. Let's go boom. Oh, check it out. So you can sneak up behind people. That is cool. I love that design. Oh look, you can go down here. Wait, where does this go? Boom and oh, oh look at that. Right up here. Oh, look, there's a guy here in the turret. Let's get him. That was very satisfying getting up on here though. I think I've seen enough of the map, but now how, what can I make in this that's gonna be a fun little secret? Let's get into the map. Okay, here we are inside the map. We got the big robot here. I'm not sure where the monster is, but uh, let's just take a look around in here. Actually, you know what? I want to go into the game. Okay, here we are in the game. Let's check this out. We got our big robot over there. Wait, what the heck? He's moving. Wait, why is he animating? I'm just in edit mode here. Here, here. Okay, there he is. He is ready to fight. Just needs a monster to fight against him. So what I want to do here is create some really cool secret experience that only you guys will be able to find. What can I do? Ugh. Man, I really love this arena. I think these little like triangles here are great. And I especially love these tunnels that go down beneath and pop you up like really fast like it just feels really satisfying i really like these tunnels that go underneath the middle of it from the bases i feel like i could do something fun with the tunnels let's see down here oh you know what and down here would be perfect spot there's this whole open area where i could have them like drop down from the tunnels but oh no the terrain's a little bit too high we're gonna have to adjust that so i'm just gonna lower this down a little bit in here i gotta be careful though i think this terrain is anchoring this whole arena so i gotta make sure i don't don't, like break his map that would be so sad pg gives me access and comes back and the whole map's gone he never talked to me again okay i think this area here is big enough now i can come down here and if i have them fall in these tunnels then i can build a whole area in this middle okay that's cool i think what i'm gonna do is build a little tunnel that only works from the right side of each base so if you're in blue base so i have to go down the right one like this and then i'm gonna build it so it's right when the blue meets the red so like you'll fall down right here underneath this and that will be the tunnel and then if you're on the red side you'll go down the right triangle and where the red meets the blue is where you'll fall down and be able to come into the middle this is going to be a neutral area where people can't fight so let's make it a bright green middle area oh this is going to be cool and i'm going to make a big dance floor that's going to go right in the middle of all this where people can just relax from the violence up above oh yeah this is looking good all right let me just finish this little arena and then we'll decorate okay here's our little room here that we've made so once you've activated the sequence that opens this floor piece, which I'll have to make in just a second. You'll fall down here and then boost right into the center. Now we gotta make this place look a little bit cooler. We're definitely gonna need a disco ball. Okay, wait a second though. Gotta make sure no light is coming through the top. Right, it looks like we're okay. Oh wait, no, there is some light down there. Shoot! We can't give away that there's something underneath. I got an idea. I'm gonna add like a little bit of a rope to this so it drops down and now you shouldn't be able to see the light poking through. Okay, yeah, that looks good. I just wanna decorate this a little bit before we get too crazy into like, why should you come down here? Should I have some ideas? Oh no, look at this! The pieces underneath have a little, like, nub on it. And you can definitely see the square of the room down below. Shoot! Let's see if I can just lower it slightly. Okay, that fixed that. Let me show you my room here. So this is the chill room. It's got everything you need. Over here, we got some cool artwork. But we also got a TV you can just sit down and watch. If you're into reading, you can come and pick out some books to read. If you want to play some video games, there you go. We even got a little, like, land set up here so you can play games with your friends. Maybe you need a change of clothing after all that fighting. Here you go. We got our dance floor in the middle of course but we gotta have food we've got a restaurant right here you can order anything from here's some other snacks refrigerators chips etc drinks and then right here is my favorite spot the nap area where you can lay down get some rest and just chill but here's what i want to do with the center i kind of want to make it so when you're like emoting down here you're earning
building some gold so you can earn gold every five seconds or something. Instead of fighting, that's how you can get what you need to buy what you want. So I need to set up all the mechanics for this. Let me do that real quick to make sure it'll work. Okay, sweet. I got it to work when I'm emoting. You can see over in the bottom right, I'm earning gold every five seconds. Okay, now I got to figure out a way to trigger the ability for people to come down into this area. I think what I want to do for it to start the sequence is you have to choose a very specific gun. Which gun do we want? I want to pick one that like no one's ever going to pick. Oh, I know. How about the primal SMG? Nobody ever uses that. So if I come in here and someone picks that, it'll trigger maybe four triggers that you have to shoot in the arena. Maybe I'll make it so you have to shoot like this one, that one. Okay, wait, wait. Let me, let me just build this and then I'll show you. Okay, got this all to work. Let me show you how to do this. So you're going to want to run over here and grab the primal SMG. Once you grab that, it activates some triggers and you got to hit them all. Now you don't actually have to use the SMG. It might be easier if you use like one of these ARs or something, but you're going to want to come up here and then you're going to aim at the robot logo right there. You're going to shoot that and then you're going to shoot the monster logo here and you got to do it in this exact order. So start there and then there and then you shoot this monster logo, then that robot logo, which will now make it so when you go down the right side of your base, this works on the red side as well. You go down here, you go into the tunnel, you got to slow down, run back to where you're on the first blue one on the right and then you're going to look for a button right there. It says interact and then boom, you go down and you get launched into the green room. And of course in here, if you emote, you get gold. I also added this vending machine where you can get snowmen. This is the only place you can get snowmen on the whole map. And then when you want to return to battle, you go back to the battle. Woohoo! And now you're out here. You can throw snowmen down. You can turn them into the snowballs. You can throw the snowballs at guys. <laughs> only you will know that secret. But I feel like I need to add one more thing. Oh, I got an idea, guys. So TG played my backrooms map a long time ago and he loved it. Love to put a little Easter egg in here for him. Maybe I could have like some sequence that's really hard to figure out. And if you do it, you get teleported to a little back rooms. And I can build it under the train over here. There's plenty of space. Ooh, this is perfect. Okay, we got our basic pieces here. Let's start building. All right, I finished my little mini back rooms area. It's not terribly big. You can still see that I use the sound effects that I used in my OG one, but let's get into the game and test it out. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you how to do this, but I will show you the last piece of this. So there's a few different things you're gonna have to do to unlock the back rooms but it's similar to the first puzzle where you have to get the right sequence of things. But the last part of it is you come and you play a game and then boom, you're in the back rooms. Ah! You can run around and explore. Oh, it's really not too big. Oh man, this brings back memories, guys. But you'll notice one wall is different than all of these others. Right there, you can see this one is glitching out. If you run into it, boom, you're back in the action in the red versus blue. Let's see what TG thinks. All right, I got him and I showed him exactly how you get into the secret room. Let's see what he says. What the heck? You built all this? There's a dance floor here? Oh, you get gold when you dance on it? Honestly, this looks pretty chill. There's like sleeping bags here. You can hang out with your friends. There's posters. I dig it. I told him about the extra Easter egg and made him figure it out. Let's see his full reaction. Play a Good game. React. Okay. Oh my, am I in the back rooms? Oh, it's creepy. There's creepy noises. <laughs> what? There's like laughing and stuff. How do I get out of here, dude? That is so freaking, oh, what is that on the ground? Dude, I, no, I quit. I'm logging off. I just quit. I just left.